Most of us, you are surely not included, have used the extra time at home to catch up on some of those projects that we've put off for many days, months, years at home. You, you still have time. I speak the truth, right? Yeah. At least, yep. I'm not sure. Very honest, here. very transparent. <laughs> There's one man, though, who's taking the time to appreciate and share the beauty of nature from his own backyard. Melissa Sardelli joining us live this morning with his story, and it is really a cute one, Melissa. Good morning. Good morning, Danielle and Patrick. Great to be with you. Well, with all the extra time on our hands, many people are taking on new projects or looking for diversions. And one Warwick man is doing that. He's showing the beauty of nature in his backyard with the whole world to see. Ross McLendon is finding peace in this chaotic time. This nest just popped up in, uh, in a bush right outside one of our windows and uh, I thought, hey, I know what I can do and just sort of, you know, get to share this experience with, uh, with the community. The robin's nest, a welcome distraction. I set up the video camera, basically took over a half bath <laughs> in our downstairs, um, pointed the camera at the nest and, and uh, got, the, got the video feed going of it. Streaming it daily on Facebook and YouTube for weeks. I would set it up from when I woke up, you know, uh, go pop the microphones outside, turn on the camera, set up the stream, and then I just let it run throughout the day. His four little ones watching and waiting to see what will happen next. We have a two, a four, a six, and an eight. So, um, and they, they love it. You know, our, our two-year-old, she'll look over and say, baby birdie. And, and she figured out that she's supposed to say, how cute. The feed locally becoming popular with their elementary school. The next day, basically all of the teachers from their school were sharing the stream uh, link for, for the kids to get to watch and share. So, um, you know, it was our, our kids were thrilled because it's like all of our friends are watching our feed. The stream of the baby birds educational for some. I've learned a lot and I think the kids too have learned a lot just watching it, just how the parents take care of them, things like that, um, how quickly they grow, uh, the different sort of stages of, of development. While calming for others. A lot of us are stuck at home and, and just sort of disrupted. It's sort of a fun thing to, to get to see. A lot of people have also commented on just the sound, you know, of outside having that you know coming through with the feet just enjoying that and although Roth did miss the baby birds first flight out of the nest he did later find two of them in the yard perched up on a bush with the two other parents caring for it reporting live I'm Melissa Sardelli Eyewitness News it is 654 when we come back and I would assume